Today at National Instruments NI Week, we've announced the release of a new product. It's an eight-channel oscilloscope. All eight channels have a parallel 250 mega sample 14-bit converter, and of course the new digitizer is running complete LabVIEW and LabVIEW FPGA software inside. It's a member of our newest family of software design instruments. And software design instruments depend on FPGAs extensively, right? That's right. I mean, with every oscilloscope in the world, there's an FPGA inside and a processor inside. It's just most oscilloscopes have a closed FPGA that customers can't access. And so you're limited to whatever firmware came with the box. With our software designed approach, because the firmware is written in LabVIEW and is completely open source, customers can get into the firmware, they can make small changes, they can add additional single processing, triggering modes, and that's a lot of what we're demonstrating today, is the power to do all of this real time inside the firmware of the instrument. Great. So can we uh, do the trigger demo, or is that too hard to do right now? Oh, absolutely. I'm sure we can. Okay. It's a, yeah, it's more. So Christian, would you mind um, doing the triggering demo? Oh yeah, sure, of course. So, what, with the just an analog trigger, with just a edge trigger, we, we cannot catch our signal, but we can... So there's a small glitch in that upper uh, yeah, left corner, right? there's something going on here. And with our new... So you're just drawing high and low limits right now? Yes, and whenever the... Right on the screen. Whenever the signal is passing between them, we trigger and capture it. That's amazing. So you got a couple of other demos that you didn't get to do? Yeah, we've got the, um, the demodulator and decoder. So what we are doing here, we are capturing an NFC signal um, and we are demodulating that, decoding that. We can do that continuously. Like for example, we could trigger on data content, like on a on a word that's being transmitted. Um, and over here we are we are showing a real time spectrogram okay. of the same signal. It's basically like a FFT, but with a little bit more features behind it, like all the persistence view and, and um, what we saw yesterday in the keynote. Okay, and so all all three of these. Uh are depending on the processing in the FPGA? Yes, they're all happening on the FPGA, all in parallel. Yeah, so that's where you get the real-time performance. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Thank you.